my channel. My name is Jamie and I am a mama with a budget. So thank you for joining me for what would be uh, what, last week of October slash first week of November. Cash stuffing. Um, so for those who haven't visited my channel before or seen any of my videos, welcome. Uh, so as I mentioned, my name is Jamie. I'm located in Australia and I do cash stuffing videos. Uh, I am a mother of two, uh, soon to be three in 2024. <laughs> Um, so let's get started. So in this week's video, I'm going to be stuffing, uh, what was it? $415 this week. Um, so I have already allocated, spent some money already. Um, so before we even get started, I thought I'd mention, so I did go to Costco today and I did renew my membership. So I've already spent $65 um, as well as paid off some of my afterpays uh, and put money towards my credit card to get that down to zero in cancelling it. So that has now left me with $415. Um, so I have decided to go back to a um, weekly stuffing of my fortnightly pay. Um, so I did trial doing the fortnightly thing. Uh, I hated it. <laughs> it just seemed like such a long time till payday. Um, so I have decided to go back to it. Um, so before I even pop any money into my envelopes, I will mention that I have done a reshuffle again. I know I seem to do this a lot, uh, but I have done a reshuffle again of my binders and my envelopes. Um, main reason for that is because I have purchased a new planner, budget planner for 2024, um, which is this one. Uh, so some of you may recognize this if you are located in Australia. It is the budget planner from She Budgets. Uh, so I have already gotten started on prepping this planner for 2024. Um, and part of that was going over my sinking funds overview. So I have rejigged them to follow this so some of them will be missing because i haven't started it yet um but i have gone and pulled out the ones that aren't a part of this uh and will now be using just these for the time being um with one being added next year which will be baby number three's birthday <laughs> um but other than that we should be running pretty much on track with what is in here so i am planning on doing a video on this if anybody is wanting to see a bit more about this planner and how i've set mine up um this this will be coming up in the coming weeks all right so let's jump on in so first thing i'm going to do is empty out the change in my purse and oh, it's my Costco. It's my Costco membership receipt. <laughs> um, so let's pull this out. Um, I did also order a new wallet, um, which I will show when it does arrive, um, which I'm very, very excited about, um, which is more based for cash stuffing, but also very functional. Um, so very excited when that comes. I'll show you that one as well. What have I got? So $4.50. Oh, $5. All right. So let's pop that away. So I'm thinking I might empty this at Christmas time or, you know, January 1st and start again. So it's filling up a bit nicely. I do do a bit into this quite often, especially like during um, – like curriculum days when Jackson has curri uh, not curriculum days, um, like out of school uniform days and things where they have gold coin donations for participating, or you know little lunch orders and things. I dip into this. All right, move that out of the way. All right, let's get started. Um, so I will also mention the last two weeks, I have never had to use much mu as much money as I have out of my envelopes. Now I get that that's the whole purpose of it, that that is what they are here for, for when those events pop up, you use the money because you've got the funds already allocated towards it. But it just seemed to be one thing after another. Does How often does that happen to everybody else where it just seems to be, everything just seems to happen at once where all your envelopes start looking really healthy and chunky and then you've got to start dipping into them and it's just this snowball effect of constantly having to dip into them. So I have had to spend quite a bit um, nearly every single envelope got dipped into for its allocated reason. It's crazy. Um, 
so the amounts will be lower in most of these and some of the figures will be rejigged as well um so half because of my new planner that's coming up which i'm pointing at it realizing you can't see it um and also because i'm trying to make this a little bit more manageable all right so some of these are getting filled some of them aren't um, so the first one that we are looking at here is one month of bills. So as you can see, this one has reduced quite significantly. Um, this was over $1,000. I have dropped this back to $500 because uh, I did have a very big unexpected bill pop up, um, which the funds weren't available in my emergency fund. So I thought I'd take it out of this um, and just sort of pulling them out of random envelopes. I just wanted it to come out of one. Um, so this one isn't getting anything this week, but I just thought I would mention that it has drastically decreased. Um, car maintenance is one of the few things that hasn't been dipped into yet, but I am getting that spare tire done, um, hopefully tomorrow. So, uh, car maintenance, um, is going to be getting $20 popped into it. So at the moment there is no prop notes. Um, and as you would notice, I have got real notes here. Um, only reason was because I did get a whole bunch of notes given to me um, to use. So I thought, you know, let's just use them <laughs> before I put them back in the bank. Just to see if I still have a preference for real notes as opposed to prop notes. We'll see how we go. Because I do love using the prop notes, I'll admit that. All right, so car maintenance currently is sitting on 260. Um, all right, so car rego, as always, this is one of the non-negotiables, is getting its 20. All righty, so that will be getting its 20. So that is now currently sitting on 60, because I did recently have to pay that off. And we start again. Um, so dental, so both boys did get deductions for this for their dental. I can't remember how long ago that was, whether it was the last video or the one prior. Um, but that did get touched. Um, so we are going to be popping the usual 20. Jeez, that's not coming off very well, is it? Anyway, but it is there. So we will be popping the 20 into this one. So currently, dental will have uh, 300, I believe 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300. Yeah, 300 in dental. Medical is sitting on a big fat zero. Um, so not only does ultrasounds cost a lot of money. So when I back when I was having Jackson and Levi, they used to be bulk build. Um, as it turns out, they don't do that anymore. <laughs> Um, so being that I am I'm 17 weeks now, um, but I have had to pay for, um, the dating scan and my 12 slash 13 week scan. Um, so that is now down to zero. So we'll be putting 25 into this one. Plus also Levi had a specialist appointment. Um, so Paul Levi is one of those kids that seems to have everything go wrong for him. So there's a few different specialists that he sees. So this one in particular was for his feet. Um, so I had a specialist appointment with the doctor for that. So we are back to the beginning for medical, which killed me. <laughs> but that's what it's there for, right? It's that's definitely what it's there for. Oh, forgot to. So some of these are going to be having these in them now. Um, so I am slowly working my way through adding them in. Again, just being pregnant and just in a big state of I cannot be bothered. Um, as soon as I get that free time, I want to do a sit on the couch and just watch some TV. I don't want to have to do anything. Um, so when that happens, I just don't. And that's just what I've been doing lately. I just don't. I'm just trying to be kind to myself because I'm only going to get more and more tired as this kid grows bigger and bigger. <laughs> um, so emergency. So again, emergency is another one that got dipped into because I didn't have enough funds in my medical for those um, specialist appointment um, and for the ultrasound. So 
that now went back, dropped back. Um, so now this is sitting on 500 currently. So 500 at the moment, plus with, um, I've run out of, okay, so for this one, that's fine. So what I'm going to do, oh, how am I going to do that? I don't have any, I don't have any notes at all. So what I might do is literally prop note it. I'll put that back in the bank and 25, pop that like that. Yep, that's okay. Let's do that. So now we will be sitting on 525 and I'll get the yellow air later. 525 for this one. See, so 28th of the 10th, sitting on 25. No, 525. Oh, is it dry yet? Oh, damn it. One sec. Here we go. 525. I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> uh, so school. So I did dip into school a little bit as well. Um, so we needed some more uniform. Plus Jackson had an excursion. Um, so I have also changed this to $10 as opposed to having it as 20. Um, so at the moment, so currently school is sitting on 110. Um, so I will be popping that in. So that is now sitting on 120. Um, so we need a 10. So again, I'm going to prop note this because I'm too baby brain to try and figure it out any other way. So pop that down. Because I just don't trust myself at the moment. I really don't. My baby brain. Oh, it, I thought it was bad last time. It's it's even worse now. Um, but the plus side is, Fat Bills is going to be getting fifteen. <laughs> so those two will now go in here, unless there's already a ten there. So I think I'm safe that I can do that. I think that will be okay. I hope. Is it? Yeah, because it's a prop note. I'm literally swapping a 10 for a 10. It's okay. This is more me telling myself. Because <laughs> for anyone who has been following my journey knows how bad I am for stuffing that up. It is a problem. <laughs> so... Beautiful. That one is now sitting on 15. So this vet bills one, uh, once every uh, every paw print has been coloured in, uh, it reaches 600. So that's a good one when you've got the smaller notes. All right, so that's it for that one. Ooh, all right, let, well, let's do the blue one. Um, so inside the blue one um, is family fun, eating out and self-love um, but the only one that's going to be getting something in this envelope or this binder this week uh, will be family fun which is going to be getting 20. Oh my purple one I forgot to put it back. All right so let's color this one in. As I said, that one's going to be getting 20. Oh, I didn't fill in the bottom. Oops. 20. Oh, God. I'm going to fix that later. Alrighty. So, last but not least is this one here. Um, so I am doing quite well with my 10 week challenge. Um, so I did get a little bit excited and start coloring things in already. I couldn't help myself. 
Um, because as um, I said in a previous video, I am competing against my husband to see who can get to 10k first. Um, so I did color in a 14, um, as well as the 154. So the 154 was actually from my Etsy sales. I don't normally mention this very often because I am a very, very small fish in a very big pond. Um, but for the thank you and the wonderful support that you guys have given me um, with the sales that I got last fortnight um, actually came to $154. So I put that straight into this challenge. So thanks guys. I really, I was so excited. Um, so I did, you know, kind of gloat to my husband. Look, he's honestly, he's kicking my ass at the moment with this. But again, that's because he's doing like one row each time. He's going to start fizzling out soon. I mean, there's no way you can sustain these kinds of figures down at the end. They're going to be broken up. I think we might be okay. I'm um, be honest. I talked a big game in the last video about it. I'm not feeling as confident as I was two weeks ago. Because <laughs> now he's really, like this is a guy that you know has struggled with savings and things, and you know being able. He was always a very very big impulse spender. So for him to be really really going at this and doing overtime at work and. You know, really being hard on himself. I'm, I'm very shocked. I'm very proud, but I'm kind of shitting myself now because I think he's going to beat me. <laughs> but let's see how we go. Positive thoughts, guys. Positive thoughts. Send them my way. <laughs> but I have already um, coloured this one in this week, so I'll remember next week not to do that. As I said, I got a little bit overexcited. Um, so birthday party is now in here. So that isn't going to get touched this week. Uh, but the next birthday party coming up will be Levi's in March. Um, so we've got quite a good a bit amount of time before this one comes. So Christmas. So I have started dipping into Christmas because I have started buying Christmas presents um, as well as some Christmas decorations. Um, so at the moment, uh, let's sort of see. So we spent 51 and then I spent 18 at Kmart. Um, on some Christmas decorations. I was really wanting, you know, like those berry looking, um, like the picks that you just, they're like the, the tweak, the sticks, but I think they call them picks. Um, and they've got the berries, um, the festive, you know, Christmas berries. Um, I've been looking for them for ages and I finally found them. So I grabbed a whole heap of them. I like to put them at the top of the tree. Um, so I finally found some. So Christmas is currently sitting on 471. So that's why I've got one half colored in. Um, so at the moment that's saying it's got 470 in it, um, but I will be putting 20 in to this one. Um, so I'm going to leave the red one, this one blank, um, and jump straight to this one. Oh, I'm going to need the red. Oops. There it is. Um, yeah, and I'll go back and I'll colour that one in when I replace, when I add the other 10 into it. All right, so. Oh, no, not at the back. Come back. Yeah. All right, so, oh, my God. Just, just ignore that. You didn't see that. Um, all right, so uh, the 28th of the 10th. We are adding in 20, so we are now sitting on 491. All right. Let's pop that in. And actually, we're going to pop a one in there as well. Because why not? Because we can. All right, um, so gift fund is going to be getting 10. Uh, so again, I'm going to swap out a 20 for two 10 prop notes um, as well. Oop. So let's fill this one in. I'm not counting it because I'd already drawn all over myself before the video even started and I have no idea what's new and what's not. Well, that green one's definitely new, but we're going to give it a break. We are giving Jamie a break this week. She can't help it. Her brain is mush. 
We're going to be nice. We get a free pass this week. Um, all right, so Jackson is not getting anything into his, but Levi, we're going to start on Levi's. Um, so we're going to give him a 20. Um, so oops. let's quickly color these in. Beautiful. All right, so we'll give that a bit of a shaky shake. I have also decided that I am going to give my gift to myself a cricket because I want a cricket machine. Um, and I really, really want one. Um, so I have decided when Black Friday rolls around that I'm going to buy myself one. So what I really want to do is get the um, instead of having these because this is one of my problems because this bit sticks out so much. Is I want to create the clear ones and make my own. Um, so I am going to be doing that um, by Black Friday. <laughs> um, all right. So what I am going to do as well is pop some money away into my wallet. Because uh, we do have some funds left over that I forgot to pop away. So first things first is $50 for fuel. It's going to be getting put in here. Um, so we are going to have $50 for kids. So just anything that they might need that's going to come about. And $50 for just me to spend on whatever I want. And I'm going to need to figure out. I've got $60 left over and I don't know why. Alrighty, so I figured out what went wrong. I actually hadn't put any money in. Um, so... I actually went back to my last video to see where I was at in my last video. So in my last video, I had two, four, six, eight, twenty-two, and one fifty coloured in. So I've realised so the one fifty-four was definitely from my Etsy sales. Um, so I had ten dollars rolled over um, from another fund. So I wanted to balance it out. So basically, my emergency money had five hundred and ten. So I just wanted to round it out. So I put the extra ten into this. And then I had 14, I had $4 left in my ING everyday account. And then I had $10 left over in another account. So I rolled that in together and then colored in that 14. And then I've realized that I still had 60 left. I couldn't figure out where and why. And it's because it was supposed to go into this. So <laughs> that'll teach me for coloring anything in off camera. So I'm supposed to be coloring in 60 into this one. Beautiful. Okay. Couldn't figure it out. It took me a while to work out what just went wrong. And it was that simple. <laughs> just bypassed it all. Silly. All right. So let's pop that in. So this is now the correct look for my 10K challenge. Alrighty, so thank you everybody uh, for joining me again in this week's cash stuffing video. Uh, so if you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Alright everybody, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye!